Today's video is about turning a plain white shoe into a paint splattered shoe in the comfort of your own home. Everything I mentioned today is available in the description box. I have an Amazon storefront where you can find everything that I use it to do my customs. I'm also going to list individual items in the description box as well. The most important thing you're going to need is a cardboard box that is big enough to put your sneakers in without them rubbing on the sides. I also use a cutting board for extra paint protection, some paper, postage tape, masking tape, airbrush thinner, painting pots, cake turner, paint brushes and Angelus's leather acrylic paint. I've already prepared my shoes by using acetone to rub off the factory finish and masking tape to mask off the areas I don't want painted. Now use the postage tape to seal off one side of your cardboard box. I chose to use a cardboard box instead of making it a more permanent solution because, well, if you see my studio tour, you know that I have to keep making sure the room is tidy and clear of any of my equipment. So once I've finished doing the paint splatters, I just take down the cardboard box, keep the paper that I've used for next time and put it all away. Now the next few steps are just to make sure everywhere is nice and protected. Once you're happy that no paint splatters are gonna go all over the room, place your cake turner in the center, put your shoes on and do a spin check. Now, unless you're using paint that is already made for airbrushes, for example, you're going to have to add something to make it thinner. So I personally use an airbrush thinner. You may need to add some more thinner later on if you realize that your paint splatters are too thick. The thinner your paint, the smaller and the more spread out your splatters will be. The brush that I use for the paint splatters is pretty old so I'm not too sure the size or make or anything but I would always recommend using a medium to large size brush because it just makes your splatters a lot easier to do. Unless you're looking for a more defined look then I'll go for smaller brushes. Once you're happy with the way it looks you can stop right there. Unless you're like me and want to take it to the next level. For the majority of my detail and line work, I tend to use a number two round brush by Angelus. If you want to be even more extra like me, you can use your cardboard box to help you paint the shoe box. <laughs> 